Hello everyone and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. I have just bought the Elite Dangerous Horizons expansion season. Now I haven't just bought it, I pre-ordered it the day it was announced, but the whole point of Horizons is that you're able to land on planets. Well certainly you're, you're able to land on planets that have um, no atmosphere currently. Uh, no doubt they'll bring in further planets in the future. Oh, look, someone's been shot up there. Uh, I did have. I'm leaving now. Sorry. Retract my landing gear. Let's boost away. Boom! Right, now, I'm going to be heading about... How far am I going? Doesn't say. Five jumps. So I'm going about 70 light years away, I think. Uh, to go and land on my first planet. I have never ever done this before. This is literally the first time I've booted this up, apart from setting my controls. And um, I am really, really looking forward to playing this. <laughs> and I thought I'd capture the moment on camera for you guys. No face cam though. Can't be bothered. Boom! So if you haven't seen me play Elite Dangerous before, I've done a few other videos. One where I was uh, exploring the constellation of Virgo, one where I was exploring uh, various nebulae, and I think I even did one in the Oculus Rift, which was quite good fun. Now uh, let's get some... Have I got a fuel scoop on this? Yes, I have. Lovely. Let's scoop some fuel. You never know how much I'm going to need it. Although I'm still well within chartered space at the moment, so there's no point in sitting in sitting in the sun, getting too hot. Hun ahayusi. So anyway, I'm going to. If we have a look on the galaxy map, I'm going to. Um, where's my? There it is, Amatis. And then in Amatis, if I show you, there's a planet that I wish to land on. Now I chose this mainly at random, I just wanted to find a planet that might have a good, that's not too far away from the sun, that might have a good view. Um, I've chosen to land on this one. Anything with a blue thing around here you can land on at the moment. That's got an atmosphere for example, so you know we can't land on those. This is atmosphere free. So I'm going to this planet, Amatis A4. That's where I'm going. Anyway, let's jump to there. I'm trying to remember all my controls. I'm not using the voice commands or the head movement or anything yet, just because, you know, it's too much effort. <laughs> I just wanted to jump in and play this. So I hope it's what I hope it will be like, if that makes sense. I hope that it lives up to my expectations. Um, I realise still that it's it's there's it's very sort of emergent gameplay. You know, there's no there's not really that much to do once you get down onto the planet's surface. But as you've seen with me in this game, I like to I like to just play. Is that where I'm going? No, that's where I'm going. I like to just play and enjoy myself. Exploring and whatnot. Yeah. Ah, oh, look at the Milky Way there. Ah, oh, God, I've forgotten how much I love this game. So yeah, I spent just before I got onto camera. Let's wait for this to happen. Just before I got onto the camera, I um, or started recording, I outfitted a new ship. I bought a hauler, which is like a sort of low-level explorer slash trader. And I outfitted it with um, loads of stuff, actually. Oh, wow, look at this place. Oh, look at that. A sun behind a sun. I'm going to fly between them. That's what I'm going to do. And you can't stop me. Oh, God, am I going to... I'm going to burn up if I do this, aren't I? I just know I am. Oh, my goodness. Holy shit. Oh! Yep, yeah, I'm not surprised. What's disengaged? Oh, fuel scoop. Thank goodness for that. Let's curve back around and look what I just drove through. Oh wow, look, there's loads of stuff down there. 
What is this place? Tirala. This is a huge system. Shitloads of stars. I don't know. It's just, yeah, a couple of outposts and then four stars and a load of um, asteroid belt. Oh, cool. That's very exciting. Look at that. That's what I drove between. Oh, I love it. Right, anyway, where am I heading off to? This way. Let's go. Two jumps. Boom. There is something I do need to do. I think I need to set up mouse lock again because I'm not able to use my mouse to look around the uh, look around the cockpit. So I'm just going to do that quickly now, while I'm fairly safe where I am. Um, controls, controls. We're going to go to where are we? Alternate flight controls. Flight throttle, flight landing overrides. Look at all the controls, by the way. So many. Um, here we go. Mouse head look on. Allow the mouse to control head look when head look is enabled. Ah. So how do I turn head look on? Right, well, reset head look I'm going to have as delete, because I think that's always been delete. I don't know why it's changed. And head look default state on. There we are. Cool. Did that... S oh, God. Did that save, or did I just press back? Pretty sure I just pressed back. That's a shame. Go down again. <laughs> All this while I'm just sitting in front of a sun. Right. Head look. Mouse 3. Oh, okay. Well, we'll have it defaulted to on anyway. And what was the reset head look? Is delete. Okay, there we go. Apply. Cool. So now I can go... Ah, oh, there we go. I can look around. Call that sun's causing some uh, frame rate problems. Never mind. We'll be past it soon enough. Yeah, I wonder what my frame rate's going to be like when I go down to a planet. Hopefully it's not going to just completely crash. Actually, let's stay here. I do need to get some more fuel. Look at this. I'm getting really close to this sun. Oh my goodness. I'm used to my awesome ship that has really good fuel scoop, so at the speed I'm currently going, this must be a tiny star. Relatively speaking, of course. <clears throat> In my other ship, I'd be getting so much by now. Oh, look, there's a flare. Shit. Well, not shit, really. I meant to go through it because it's hilarious. Okay, come on, fuel. Keep scooping. Keep scooping. Oh god, there's a flare again. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's go round again. Okay, I think I've gone round enough now. Let's call that done. God, look at all the steam and smoke or whatever it is coming off my ship. Definitely too hot. Right, jump away. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, Amatis is my next one. That tiny dot in the distance is the sun that I'm going to. Ah, oh, you can go to any one of these stars. That is so cool. Boom. Oh, we're getting close. <clears throat> so you have to outfit your ship with a few different things. You've got to outfit it with 
Um, what is it? You need a planetary vehicle hangar, which they all come with now. I got some good thrusters for when I'm down on near the surface, because otherwise I think driving's, uh, flying's going to be difficult. Cockpit canopy, which has a, um, a vehicle in it. Yeah. I think it does. I better not get there and find that I haven't freaking got a sh uh, 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 an SUV to drive. SRV, sorry. <laughs> an SUV, honestly. Right, there's um, a Amatis A4. Let's go for it. Where was A3? Because A3 was the one that it orbits. I think. It might be right next to it. Or it might be behind me, who knows. Am I right with that? Let's have a look. System map. Let's have a look. So there you go. A3 and A4. Yeah, they, they orbit each other. But I suppose that means that might be quite a way away. Um, <clears throat> where is A3? 122 light seconds. See where it is. Oh no, it's right there as well. Fair enough. Let's get back to A4. Cool. So they literally are right next to each other, orbiting. Now I'm in open space, so hopefully they'll. I won't get any pirates after me. <laughs> well, I mean, in fairness, I haven't got anything in my ship that they could take, so there's no point for them to go for me. But there you go. What's this? Oh, it's a ship. Anything square is a ship, I think. Or like some wreckage or something like that. Oh, I'm going to land on a planet. I'm going to land on a planet. My frame rate's probably going to plummet. I'm probably going to crash my plane. Local, wedding barge, three cheers for the happy couple. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Someone's getting married. I assume not a real person. I assume a, a virtual person. Right, here we are. I think we're going to fly past the Earth world first, actually. Yeah, there it is, look. Let's fly right past it, because it, the what I'm trying to get to is a little bit further away. Help us celebrate our happy day. Cool Earth world. Yeah, I like it. Be billions of people living down there. In fact, we should be able to find out. Wonder how many people live on there. Should tell us. I'm sure. It's that one, isn't it? <clears throat> Population. Oh, 1.2 billion there. Oh, no, no, that's the entire system. Um, hang on. Ah, there we go, Amatis A3. Outdoor world with a human breathable atmosphere and indigenous life. The atmosphere is far from chemical equilibrium as a result. This world has been terraformed. Right, okay. But it did have indigenous life on it. Um, so it's nowhere near the size of Earth. It's only got 0.4. Um, Earth's gravity. It's quite warm. And what else have we got? Where's the population? Oh, we don't have a population. That's fine. Doesn't matter. I was just interested. Monge Hub. I thought I said SpongeBob. That's ridiculous. Oh, look at that. One day we'll be able to land on those. <laughs> Not yet, but one day. Oh look, there's all the lights on the nighttime part of the planet. And the cities and things. Oh, that's really lovely. But that's not why we're here. We can look at it from, from this planet. When we land on the fucker. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm going really slowly now because I've got into the planet's gravitational pull. <laughs> Oh, 
Come on, let's get closer. <clears throat> oh, a bit too fast. Right, I'm not quite sure how I'm supposed to land on this, but let's let's give it a go. Oh my goodness. I'm actually going to go for it. Oh, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. What's an insulation? Right, so that's an actual... <laughs> Excuse me for all the sniffing. Right, let's land near that then, because that's an actual settlement kind of thing on the planet. Right, okay, so in the bottom left you can see the distance and the speed. So I've I've got three mega miles or mega meters until um until I hit the entry area, I suppose. Um, I'm going at the right speed, 120 kilometers a second, roughly. Oh god, here we go. Oh my goodness, what's this? I've never done this before. I'm scared. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna land in this crater. I really want to land in this crater. Thank you. Don't know what that means, but that's fine. Right, so let's work out what all this is. So, that thing on the right, I think, must be... So, I'm in orbital flight. Okay. So, that thing on the right, I think, must be my tiltometer. Because if I go like that... No. Oh, right, no, that's the middle bit. So, that's my angle to the planet. So, zero. There we go. I'm exactly flat over the planet. I need to tilt down, obviously. Speed down into this crater. Oh my goodness. Yep. I'm dropping frames pretty heavily. <laughs> I haven't optimised my graphics settings, in fairness. Holy shit. Look at this. Let's keep going. Oh my goodness. Dropping from orbital cruise. Shit, what have I done? Oh, glide engaged. How fast am I going now? No idea. But I'm gliding. Oh god, I'm going to have to turn my graphics settings down, I think. This is really... Jittery. Juddery. Glide complete. Okay. Ah, oh, look, it's writing me. That's nice. Does that automatically. Cool. Ah, okay, so now what I'm doing... I was dead still in the air there, but now I'm just thrusting straight down. So I guess that number on the right that's changing is saying I'm six kilometres above the surface. Cool. All right. God knows how fast I'm plummeting at the moment. Pretty quickly, no doubt. Let's carry on a bit. Oh my goodness, this place is huge. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, the sense of scale is off the charts. Don't you think? I've no idea what that thing on the right is. Hang on. If I start going up... Ah, okay, so that's my speed relative to the planet's surface. So now I'm going really fast downwards. There you go. Okay. Oh my god. I'm getting really close. I'm really close. Oh. Here we are. 100 metres to go. Oh! Look, you I've got a radar thing in the bottom. <coughs> Not radar, but like a surface map. There we go. Oh, I need to put my landing gear on. Hang on. There we go. Landing gear deployed. I think that's all I need to do. 10 metres. 5. Alignment. Okay. Ship secured. Oh my goodness. Wow, the lag. Okay. Uh, we'll not worry about the lag quite yet. Oh dear. Right, I need... Ah, oh, there we go. Ship and vehicle. Ship, the hauler. Yeah, that's fine. Vehicle, SRV Scarab. This has got 100% fuel. Let's deploy it. <gasps> Here I go. 
Here I go again on my own. Oh God. Oh my goodness. Really? Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. All right then. So I've got, oh God, no, that's, that's wrong. Hang on. Right, we're gonna have to sort some uh, controls out here. Let me just stop. There we go. Right, controls sorting out time. <laughs> oh dear, what a way to break the immersion. But steering is currently inverted, which I can't be doing with. Flight throttle, flight throttle, flight miscellaneous, targeting weapons, miscellaneous. Where's driving? I need driving. Interface, head look, galaxy map. Driving, here we go. So steering axis is that. In, don't invert it. There you go. Apply. I'm just going to tone down the graphics a little bit. <laughs> just to make it slightly nicer for me to be able to run. Um, as you can see, everything's on like super high. Um, I don't know what super sampling is, but let's turn it down. Uh, what else is on really high? Okay, so let's turn that down to high. That's down to high. Terrain quality, let's just stick it on high. That changes will not take place until the next loading screen. Oh, okay. Material quality, stick that on high as well. Um, yeah, see if that makes a difference. Apply. Yes. Okay. Oh, I think that has made a difference. Oh, yeah, but it looks fucking horrible. Why does that look fucking horrible? What's happened? What did I do? Did I scroll down something I shouldn't have? High, 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 high. Super sampling. Maybe that's what it was. Put that back up to one. Everything else is still on high. Yeah. Oh, that's better. Yeah, super sampling is what I wanted, I think. Okay. Oh my goodness, here I go. Shit. Oh, this is so cool. There's my, there's my ship. Oh my goodness, what? I forgot what my handbrake is. Bloody hell, this is nim nippy. Board ship, handbrake, cargo scoop. There's loads. There's my ship. That's what I was just flying through space. Turret stowing. Turret deploying. What the hell? I didn't tell it to do that. Never mind. Look at that. Right. Oh my god. Wee. <laughs> oh look, and there's the earth world up there. Hang on. Stop. Where was my handbrake? I can't remember. Was that it? Yeah, that's the handbrake. Yeah, look, there's that earth world that I was looking at. And there's the sun above it. Hang on. There you go. Oh, so nice. Let's drive really fast in one direction. See what happens. I can boost as well, look. Oh my god, I just jumped. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I've got to do something else. Oh dear. This is the worst video. I'm so sorry. But bloody rolling is also inverted. Which I don't want. I should have checked that before doing it. But you need to be able to just try it and play it to see. Uh, drive assist. I need to try that. Um, what have we got? Invert axis off. Off. There you go. Joy button 12 is drive assist, is it? That's, whoops, sorry. Just smashed the microphone. Ah, assist is on. wonder what that's going to do. Ah, uh, it applies thrusters and things to keep me on the ground by the look of it. Or to make it a bit better. I'm flying. Jetpack style. Oh, fuck. Okay, good one. Right, where was my ship? That's what I need to check. Bloody hell, 84% percent 
durability just from that. God, I knackered this thing, haven't I? Oh, I've got fire. I've got weapons to fire as well. Excellent. Ooh. Hang on. What's this? Can I shoot it? No, because I'm looking over it. Oh, well. I was just thinking maybe I could mine it. I don't know where my ship's gone. Is that over there? Commander Storpy, yeah, that's my ship. Over the over the peak there. I'm going to get out of this crater. And I think I'm quite on the edge of it, so let's just drive up here a bit. Ah. Oh. This is so ridiculous. System, no, not system map. I don't want the system map. I want the surface map. There's just so many numbers on my screen. I don't know what any of them mean. <laughs> it's like starting playing all over again. Right. I want the surface map. There we go. Accessing surface data for Amatis A4. Okay. So... Does it have a UR here? Yes, it does. Look. IR here. Can I see... No, okay. I can only select those particular things. That's fine. I was just wondering if I could see the craters and things. I suppose that would be too much data to have to store. Um, but that's cool. Right. I'm going to keep driving around on here for a bit. And then I'm going to get my ship back and fly to the Watson installation. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, I don't suppose I could drive there, could I? How far is that? I mean, this is a freaking planet, so it's got to be quite a long way. Yeah. So, a thousand kilometres drive. If you can see it, it's just... Hang on. It's just behind there. Shit, hang on. There you go. Down in the bottom left there, you can see it. What's an installation? 1.08 million metres. Megameters. Crikey. What does that noise mean? No idea. Oh my goodness. Here we go, you ready? Watch this. Hang on. You know what? This is the last time I'm doing it. But pitch has been inverted as well. Ah... <laughs> uh... Right, this will be quicker. I'll be quick, I promise. Driving, steering, roll, pitch, invert axis. Well, this time it's got to be on, then. There we go. There we go, right. So now when I go like that, and I pitch, yes, I pitch upwards, that's good. Oh, this is so awesome. So you can do, like, canyon leaping and stuff, I guess. Which is awesome. Yeah, so if I drove at this speed to get to the Watson installation, currently it's going to take about 11, 11 hours or more. There you go, so I'm 15 metres above. Oh, shit. Yeah, I need to stop doing that. Right now, hang on. I need to try and get my ship back, but apparently there's a thing you can do. So activate turret, dismiss ship, proceed to boarding point. I'm sure there's a call ship function somewhere here. Where is it? Functions, there you go. Nope. External lights, dips, beam, drive assist on. Where is it? There's got to be something somewhere. Transactions, contacts. Can't do much about that. It's got to be down here. Shall I say dismiss ship? Shit, what have I done? Ship departing. Oh my god, where's it going? 
Don't shoot it, Steve. Fuck. No, come back. <laughs> oh, no. Um, I'm going to try and get that back, I think. Oh, recall ship. Oh, thank goodness for that. <clears throat> do you think it's going to just appear out of nowhere? Or do you think... Yeah, it does. Oh, no. I'm not sure whether it did or not. So it basically gets called to your current location if you've driven for miles. Here it comes. Oh, that's so cool. Well, let's get back into it. Stop trying to shoot it. Oh dear, it's difficult to steer on this. I'll tell you that. I prefer flying. There you go. Yeah. Right. Definitely not going to dismiss the ship. So I am probably the first person to have been on this bit of land. I reckon. Oh my god. Goodness me. Right. I need to get my steering down, I think. I'm not very good at it yet. Here we go. Fords. 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 There we go. I mean, how do I... Oh, there you go. Board ship. Transfer cargo. Oh, cool. That's oh, board. Oh. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Yay. Turn the lights off. Oh. And there we are. Hold Joy 5 to launch. That's this one. Drives engaging. Drives at 50% power. There we go. I have launched. So that's where I was. Right. So I think I'm going to head to the Watson installation, as I say. Where the hell is it? Over there. So, if I carry on just thrusting straight up and tilting, I should be able to see where I was and where I'm going. Oh, well, I've sorted out the... Um, frame rate issue, haven't I? Not quite sure how, but I did. Oh my goodness, this is this place is huge. There I was saying, oh yeah, I'll just drive out of this crater. It's absolutely enormous. Oh, dark streaks over there, look. Another look. There's more craters over there. Within the crater. Bloody hell. Okay. Right, this isn't going to work. How do I go faster? Maybe I just need to get higher up. I think I just need to boost into the outer atmosphere. Even though there is no atmosphere. Haha. -ha. There we go. So currently I'm boosting away from the planet. Oop. Shit. Oh, right, so that's the angle I'm at. Okay, so 90. There you go. So I'm pretty much facing away there. Cool. Just need to work out how I get into glide mode. Right, let's have a look at where we are now. 
Okay, fairly, fairly high up. Look at the striation. How odd. I guess I still need to just keep going. Because it will tell me surely when I enter this glide mode thing. Come on, 30 kilometers above the surface almost. Who knows, though? I certainly don't. That's the one, that's the one trouble. There's no um, real tutorials in this. Oh, unless I have to enter frameshift drive to do it. Not friendship drive, maybe we have to charge it up. Oh shit, hang on. Where am I jumping to? Oh no, no, we're fine. I think I'm just entering Super Cruise now. Oh, there we go. Right, now I'm in glide mode. There you go. Look, I'm much better able to get away from the surface. Good. Awesome. Cool. So. This way, then. Hang on. Yeah, no, fuck it, let's just go. I was going to say I want to have a look at where I was, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, so I have to enable it myself to get away, rather than just driving really slowly. Here we go. Nice and quick, wouldn't it? Haisheng plant is on the other side of the planet. Very moon-like, isn't it, this one? Wonder when I'll be able to see it, how far I'll have to be away. Dropping from orbital cruise. There we are. Bosh. Glide engaged. I know I'm going way too fast at the moment, but I'll slow it down soon. Oh shit. Okay, I'm slowing down. Pull up. Glide aborting. Lovely. Good. That's what I wanted. Have I gone over it? Not yet. In fact, I'm directly over it. That's cool. Start, start descending. Very cool, this. I wonder what's here. What's in the Watson installation? What's on here? I wonder what's on. <laughs> God, this has been such a boring video for you guys. I've just been sitting here enjoying myself. Oh well. It's Christmas. Fuck it. Here it is. Actually, do I have to... I bet you I have to re request docking. No, I don't. That's fine. Wow, why did you choose here? What's the point? What? What is here? Oh, fuck, what are those? Sentries. Okay. Don't kill me. I'm alright. Should I try landing? Trespass log, leave area to avoid sanctions. The hell? Am I not allowed to land? What's the insulation? Ah. I guess I'm not. Oh, that's a shame. Oh well, that's fun to see anyway. 
I'm going to go and land by it and end the video there, I think. Oh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm going to... Oh, look. Oh, look at that. Look at it. the corona around it. You can see the atmosphere on that planet. Anyway, what I'm going to do is just visit the actual plant, because I think that that's going to be bigger and more interesting. Okay, sure. Still can't do it. There we go. Oh, so I can do it fairly close to the planet's surface. Only a matter of a few kilometers. There we are. Good. Right, I'm into, into orbital cruise mode. Where the hell is that plant that I want to go to then? Oh, shit. Keep above the surface. Okay, so it's round this side, isn't it? Okay, there, I can see it. Cool. So if we pull up a bit, I'll be able to go a bit faster. There we are. I can feel that getting faster now. Three kilometers a second, not bad. Increasing still. Good. Okay, I think that's probably enough. Right, let's follow round. Ah, oh, look. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to fly upside down to get there. It's the best way of being able to see. It's going to be dark here, though. Look. Dark side of the moon. Shit. Definitely put my lights on. Not that they'll do much at this distance, but, you know. Actually, let's keep, keep in orbital cruise. I don't want to hit glide just yet. Oh, well, maybe I do. Glide's okay, isn't it? It's when glide's disengaged that it sucks and you go so slowly. Haisheng plant. I wonder if I can drop out of orbital cruise manually. Probably can. Oh god. It's really slowing down. Oh, there we go. Dropping from orbital cruise. Glide engaged. So I can still go really nice and fast. Oh, this is a glide, isn't it? There's no engine noise whatsoever. Two and a half thousand kilometers per hour. That's good. <laughs> That's very good. Glide complete. Okay, that's probably because I've dropped down to five and a half kilometers above the surface, maybe. Something like that. Right, let's make our way. Oh, I can just see it. It's just turned into a, a dot that I can see. My goodness. I bet there's some really interesting planets to explore, like with huge chasms and crags and stuff. I'm really looking forward to finding them. Because this one's quite a flat planet, actually. Not a lot going for it. Are my lights on? External lights on, there we go. And now I'm quite close to there, I'll see if I can request a dock. No. Maybe I don't dock then. <laughs> Maybe I just behave myself. <laughs> I suppose there's no need to dock, is there? Because it's, it's still, it's on the planet's surface. Oh, it's quite big. That's a kilometre, or half a kilometre away, and I can still see it. Oh my god. Trespass logged. What? I'm not trespassing. I genuinely want to see you. Maybe I have to do something special to do it. I don't know. I'll learn. I'll learn. Shall 
Shall I shoot it? That'll be fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh. There you go. There's the Haisheng plant. Whatever it does. Shit. I'm moving back. I'm moving back. I'm moving back. There you go. I'll just sit here and look at you. Oop. Landing gear. Come on. There we go. Ship secured. Oh, yeah. Let's get into the vehicle and just drive there. I know I said I'd finish this video, but I just want to drive, see if I can drive there instead. Okay, I've got headlights as well. I'll put normal ones on for now. It's difficult driving with a joystick, actually. Definitely meant for ships. Ah, maybe I'm okay to travel there on wheel, but not on on the air. All right, plant. Operations terminal active. Wow, this is weird. What's it doing? Don't shoot me. I'm confused. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh, look. There's a, there's a ramp there. Oh, look. Oh. Oh, my goodness. This is just beautiful. Let's drive up it, shall we? See what happens. Ah, uh, it's all red, though. I reckon I'm going to get an infringement or die or something. Don't kill me. Oh, no. Trespass logged. Okay. No worries, I'm off. Shit. Get away. Data point active. wonder what that is. Well, I'm not going to fire at them. I'm going to stay still. Anyway, that's landing on planet surfaces and whatnot. So, I hope you've enjoyed that. I really have. I'm going to have to explore loads of different planets, I think. But I love the seamless transitions, or virtually seamless, anyway. Um, very, very cool. Tell me if I've misunderstood anything, but, um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for joining me on my first trip down to a planet surface. And, uh, yeah, see you next time on the next video. Bye-bye. Let's drop this a sec. How do I drop it? Uh, that's that button. Smash!